Get her. I see her playing dead. Get her. Get her. Girl, stop. It's the bird. It's that bird over there. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Oh my God, you're gonna push me over. Walty, you're so happy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at him going between my legs. <laughs> yeah, you are so happy. I love it. I love when the guy is happy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's over there. You want that yacht? Then you'll get that yacht. Yes, you will. Everything is yours. You're the king of this land. You guys, I've been feeling pretty anxious, so I needed to go for a drive somewhere, and I took Charlotte to Charlotte today. I thought I would make a cute little video of her taking over her city, and this next story is the only video I got. I see one baby and two babies. Somebody just spilled my coffee. Somebody just spilled my coffee going nuts over another Frenchie named Ferguson that I wanted to say hi to. Not even acknowledging it, but don't worry, Kelly. I cleaned it up and it was an area that wasn't carpet or anything, but she's crazy. Hey, Ferguson. As soon as I saw him lay down, I was like, I have to say hi because he was like typical Frenchie. Every time I visit this girl, I feel like I get in a pickle because my two love to be on the go. And anytime I try and leave without them and I have my keys in my hand, Walter's going off, Charlotte's shaking. I've exposed them to so much as babies and they just behave really well out in public and they have FOMO, so they're always with me. I think that's the number one compliment I get is like, oh my gosh, they're so well behaved. And then number two is like, oh my gosh, she's quiet. And he's quiet 95% of the time. But when it comes to Maddie and when I'm visiting her, I always want to include her. But she is very much an introvert. Um, she's a very good dog, but she gets triggered by kids, pets. When she's on the leash, she, I think she's like even worse. Anytime I walk her in the neighborhood, she wants to go after all the neighbors. Um, and so just like right now, I wanted to take her and I thought it was a good setup. And then she sees two kids and then two dogs. And I'm like, okay, I can't have this because as much as I don't want her to feel left out, I don't want her or anybody else to get hurt. And Kelly knows that, so she's like, just leave her at home, but I still feel bad.